Hi, welcome everybody. Mr. Pettit here with another one of the videos for the jazz songs that we've been working on or some of you have been working on recently. This one's called Flintstones. It's a famous song and it was written originally for a, a cartoon. And I'll put a link down the bottom there in the description to uh, the cartoon, to the opening sequence of the cartoon. So you can hear it actually in situ, the Flintstones theme. Theme to the Flintstones family, who are a modern Stone Age family, as you'll find out if you watch it. Um, so the theme sounds like this. I'm going to put the music up in front of you here. And it's an A-A-B-A -A -A song. By that I mean there are four different parts. First of all, the A section happens, and that's the first two lines on the sheet. And then the A section happens again, the first two lines. There's some dots at the end of that section which tells you to repeat. Those two dots tell you to go back to the start. Then there's the B section, and sometimes that's called the bridge in the middle of the song. And then at the end, it's the A section again, and it's written out again. So that's lines number five and six. So it's A, A, B, A. And a lot of jazz songs are like this. They play something, then they play it again, then they go to the bridge, then they play the first bit again. A, A, B, A. So let's focus on the A section first of all. It's the first two lines. It sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Flintstones meet the Flintstones. They're a modern Stone Age family. And then we fit those two dots at the end of the second line. And those two dots mean go back to the start. So we're going to go back to the first line again and play two, three, four. Flintstones meet the Flintstones. They're a modern Stone Age family. But we're not going to play the next note because there's two endings to this part. You'll see at the end of the second line on the sheet, there are two bars. First one's got a number one over it in a little bracket. Second one's got a number two. They're called the first ending and the second ending, the first time bar and the second time bar. So that line's got two endings and we're gonna play the second ending this time, which is a G. So if I just do that up to speed, the first line ends with the first ending, which is this note. And the second time we play that line, it ends with this note. Here we go. I'll just play it really fast for you, just to show you what I mean. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones, they're a modern stone each family. First ending, it's a B. Then I go back to the start. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones, sorry, they're a modern stone each family. But this time we'll play the second ending instead, which is a different note. There it is. So that's the A section, the first line and the second line. Uh, pause the video now if you need to and have a practice of those two lines because in a sec we're going to play it together with the CD. So ready to try the A section with the CD. That's the first two lines. Don't forget to repeat. Don't forget the first ending and the second ending. After four, here we go. Two, three, four. Four. So let's move on to the B section of Flintstones. That's the bridge in the middle of the song. So we played the first two lines. Let's go to lines number three and four. They sound like this. One, two, three, four. Let's ride with the family down the street through the courtesy of friends to feet. Here we go again. Let's play together. One, two, three, this is the third line, two, three, four. Let's ride with the family down the street through the courtesy of friends to be. So that's the bridge. Let's try the bridge with the CD. So here we go with the bridge. One, two, three. Last 
line. Okay, so let's talk about the improvising that goes in the Flintstones, because this is a jazz song, and jazz songs normally, we all play the tune at the start, and then we all take a turn to improvise, and then we all play the tune again at the end. So we've had a go at the tune, the A-A-B-A -A -A bit. Let's do the improvising now. Improvising, as you know, means making it up as you go along. And we've got a menu of notes here that we can use. And we're going to think about these notes and think about the shape that they make on the guitar. And this time, the improvising shape on the guitar is a diamond. So I'm going to draw it for you here. These are the strings of your guitar. There's the six strings. And here's the tuning keys on the head at the end. And here's the frets. And now here's that diamond shape of notes that we're going to use when we improvise. So at the tip of the diamond, there's a C. So that's second string, first finger. And then down the bottom, there's an F sharp. That's the note between F and G on the bottom string. So F is first finger and G is third finger. And this is second finger on the second fret. So that's F sharp on the bottom string. Then going around our diamond, we've got a D back on the second string. That's third finger. And then we've got an A, which is second finger on the third string. So if I join those four notes up, the C, the F sharp, the D and the A, you can see it makes a diamond shape. If I play that diamond shape, it sounds like that. Here's a C. There's F sharp on the bottom string, second fret. Here's a D. And here's an A. Just have a couple of goes at playing that diamond shape on your own. And then there's three other notes that we can use when we improvise. And that's the three bottom open strings. So that's quite easy to remember. So just with my thumb, I'm playing the first string. That's an E. And the second string, that's a B. And the third string, that's a low G. So I've got three open strings, those notes that I just played, the E, the B and the G. And I've got four notes in my diamond shape. So that's seven notes altogether that we could pick from when we improvise. So have a quick go at those notes now. And then in a moment, we're going to improvise together. So let's improvise to Flintstones. I'm going to go first and then I'm going to pass it over to you to have a go at improvising on your own. I'm going to start on an F sharp, I think, down the bottom of the diamond. So I've got those three open notes that I can use. There they were. And I've got my diamond shape. So now we can put the whole of Flintstones together. So we're going to play the tune together. That's the A-A-B section and the music will come up on the screen. And then we're going to improvise one at a time. I'll go first and then I'll pass it on to you to improvise. And then when that's all finished, we will go back and play the tune again, the A-A-B-A. -A -A. Uh, and then that'll be the end of the Flintstones. So good luck. Here we go. Two, three, four.
percent improvised. Here we go. So I'm using any of those open notes on the first three strings and also the diamond shape. to do. Good, we're getting ready to play the tune now, so we're back to the start. Here we go after four. played. So let's play Flintstones together one more time. So we're all going to play the tune at the start as usual, A, A, B, A. When we get to the improvising, let's have shorter blocks of improvising this time. So I'll improvise, then you, then back to me again, then back to you again. So we get two times each. And then at the end, we all play the tune again together. It will all come up on the screen for you. Ready? Here we go. Back to the tune, here we go. One, two, three. Let's go. 
So that's how Flintstone's done for now. Um, don't forget, and down the bottom there in the description, I will put a link to the cartoon. And I'll also see if I can find a link to another band playing the Flintstones theme so that you can hear what they do with it. Please subscribe to my channel and then you will know when I put up some new content. And there'll be new um, lessons coming fairly often, maybe once a week, something like that. So um, keep coming back and subscribe and keep practicing at home. And I will see you soon. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.